In this quick demo, we're going to take a look at using KAgent, which is an open source Kubernetes native agent framework, and another project, KGateway, which is an open source API gateway built on Envoy proxy, together to implement things like security and guardrails. So if we take a look at our Kubernetes cluster here, we can see we have a number of things deployed. KAgent is installed. And what we want to do is install KGateway. And if we come back here and take a look at the getting started documentation, we can see we can use things like Helm or there's, there's a, you know, a lot of customization that you can do here. I am going to set up KGateway. Oops, KGateway. This will require the Kubernetes Gateway API. The uh, API Gateway capabilities are expressed using that API. And uh, we'll let this thing install. Let's uh, see if we can get uh, pods. Yep, they are up and they are running. So this means from the API Gateway, I should be able to call out to an LLM and we'll start to see how we can add security and guardrails to that. Why don't we just take a look at the, uh, let's see if I can call this and um, give that a second. Let's make sure that we do get it. Okay, so we are able to uh, call out to the LLM through the gateway. Now, K agent is a Kubernetes native uh, agent, agentic framework, which means we build our agents using CRs, custom resources. So if I come here, get agent, we can see we have a number of agents out of the box uh, as custom resources. They are config with a default model config. Um, and in this case, what we wanna do K agent also has a, uh, a, a UI interface to make it easier to interact with the custom resource system. But um, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new model. And what we're going to do is we're going to point this model at our API gateway or AI gateway. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll pick GPT 4.1 mini. Um, let's give this a, a better name. This will be custom uh, model API or AI gateway. We are not going to give it an API key to start off with. If you go back through the documentation on K gateway, you can see that K gateway uh, manages upstream provider, so think Anthropic or OpenAI keys for you, so the apps don't need to uh, manually put those keys in. You can specify additional authentication authorization to the API gateway as you would for any API call, um, but we're gonna focus on things like guardrails for this demo. So we're gonna create this new model, and uh, now we see this model has been created. Now, actually, I forgot one thing. Um, this model is not going to talk directly to OpenAI. So what we need to do is we need to give it a, uh, a URL of our AI gateway. So the AI gateway, which is a service running in the K gateway system. Oops. Uh, we want to give it uh, that URL so that when K agent calls out to the LLM, it calls it through this gateway. So we'll update this model. Now what we can do is take a look at any of our agents that we have. So maybe the Kubernetes agent. And we can take a look at the details of it. We see the uh, system prompt here for the, 
the agent, but we also see the models here. Uh, here's our custom model that goes through the AI gateway. And so we're going to update it. We're going to update the Kate's agent to use our custom model, which flows through the uh, AI gateway, and update this agent. Now, if I come back into this agent and I say, hey, uh, tell me about Kubernetes in, I don't know, 20 words. We're going to send this off to the agent and it's going to respond. And we'll see that, that it responded here. If we look at the logs, oops, all right, we'll, we'll come here. Um, well, if we look at the logs of, oops, of our uh, AI gateway here, we can see that it had some uh, request and response logging here. So that tells me that the uh, traffic is going through the AI gateway correctly. But what we want to do is we want to specify some guardrails. So if we take a look at um, a, a prompt guard, custom resource for our K gateway, we can see here we're going to specify a, a prompt guard or a guardrail policy that says, hey, if we detect any any credit card information in responses from the LLM. So somehow we've tricked it to respond with credit card numbers that we want to mask this. We don't want to, we don't want to show this. So if we do kubectl apply, we'll apply this prompt guard. And then we come back to our our agent and we ask it about this type of number. So we don't have prompt guarding on the way out, although that we can we can add that as well. But we're more interested in the scenario where we've been able to trick the the model to do something and give us back sensitive information, but we want to mask that. So in this case, if we send this out and the model responds with this number, we identify it as a credit card number and and mask it. Now this is obviously contrived it, it is Kind of difficult to get the models to do and behave uh, in, in ways that they're not supposed to but this way hopefully should work so if we send this in uh, we should see a response that this number is identified as a credit card number by the guard railing system um, and, uh, and and to mask it we shouldn't allow that out you can use an ai gateway like k gateway for a number of other ai guard railing, security, observability type use cases, failover. Um, and so go go check it out. Check out KAgent for building agents on Kubernetes, supporting AI reliability engineering type uh, use cases.